If you are trying to conceive, your doctor may recommend that you stop drinking to improve your fertility. But what about your risk for miscarriage? Will alcohol use increase the risk for miscarriage? What if you stop drinking right away? What if you have only one drink? Results from a new study will help answer these questions. Stay tuned. Last week on Infertility TV, I discussed several common things that put people at higher risk for miscarriage. One of the things we discussed was alcohol use. There was so much important information on this topic that we couldn't get to that we decided to make it an entire episode. The study I am going to tell you about today is part of the Right From The Start study that was conducted in the United States. This was a decent sized study with over 5,000 pregnancies. People were recruited during the first trimester and asked detailed questions about their alcohol use. The length of pregnancy was determined using the first day of the last menstrual period. On the day of ovulation, a pregnancy is considered to be at two weeks. By the time of a missed period, a pregnancy is at four weeks. Here is a common question that was answered in this study. What if you drink any amount of alcohol but then stopped as soon as you had a positive pregnancy test. Compared to women who never drank any alcohol, women who quit at four weeks of pregnancy still had a 37% higher risk for miscarriage. Does the amount of alcohol consumed matter? No. Miscarriage risk was higher even when alcohol use was very small, at one drink per week or less. The effects of alcohol increase over time. Between the fourth and tenth week of pregnancy, each week of continued alcohol use increased the risk for miscarriage by about 8%. For example, the risk for miscarriage was doubled with alcohol use during the sixth week, tripled during the seventh week, three and a half times higher during the eighth week, and five times higher in the ninth week. It does not matter where the alcohol comes from. The risk is increased whether you drink wine, beer, or liquor. What are the lessons we have learned here? There is no safe amount of alcohol use during pregnancy. If you are a person who is trying to conceive a pregnancy, your safest course of action is to not drink alcohol at all. Even if you stop drinking alcohol as soon as you realize you are pregnant, there is still an increased risk for miscarriage. However, if you have been drinking alcohol and then discover you are pregnant, stop drinking right away. If you continue to drink, your risk for miscarriage gets higher and higher throughout the first trimester. Don't assume you are safe just because you drink very little or only drink something like wine. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.